Hi Virgo, welcome to your weekly forecast. So this is for November 23rd until 29th. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Well, looks like Virgo, you almost have it, but it's going to kind of slip away through your fingers because of your friends. If you have been partying a lot or attending a lot of celebrations, you know, invitations, and you've been slacking off your work or you've been like not really doing your job then i feel like the um if you're expecting a promotion or like an increment okay that actually flipped or any changes in your job then i don't really feel like you're gonna get it <sighs> Well, don't worry. There's still, there's still going to be brand new beginnings for you. Okay, but this should be a lesson learned for you. Or this is going to be like um, more like a learning process. Okay. Um, the thing here is you think that the people around you are true. Or the people that's been surrounding you are true people. Or that they are, you know, like uh, they are really... It's like that they are really, um, you know, like um, being true friend or they are very considerate or they are being supportive or that they are really helping you with, with your endeavor. But the problem here is they are just too envious and the reason why they keep on inviting you or they keep on, you know, distracting you is for you to lose your focus in your job. And this is exactly what's going to happen to you. Okay, you're going to have your tower moment and you almost have it all, but you just peeled it off. And now you're thinking, okay, you'll be under the weather. Like what? Like what's going to happen next? But the good news here is there will be some brand new beginnings. But be very careful with people who lie. People who just pretend that they are being true to you. And people who just pretend that they are... You know, working as one with you or that they are very supportive or being or acting like a real friend because they, definitely they're not. Now, you will also start thinking of moving, changing your residence or changing your job altogether. Okay. Now you're waiting. You're waiting for news. You're waiting for a correspondence. You're waiting for a confirmation that is related to a move or related to a transfer or related to a new job now i feel like you will be offered one okay anytime soon um which is you will also be meeting a water younger water sign okay um i also feel like the job that will be offered to you will be in the water industry or metal industry and it seems like you will love, you know, the job that you're going to be doing and that you're going to have. Now, the problem here is when you leave your job, your current job right now, and when you finally, like, say that you're resigning or you're quitting, there is one air sign that will try to block your way. Because you're going to be getting your job, okay? But you have to travel. You have to move. And that move will be um, pushing you to a much more better path away from this you know, like uh, infectious people and they're very, you know, it's like they will just keep on pestering you because they're laughing at you. You know, they're laughing behind at you. So 
this air sign woman that's been like um trying to look out for you well not in a good way but the you know she's always spying on you uh this woman is only hiding beneath the ship's skin but the truth is she's a wolf and i feel like you need to you know you need to protect yourself away from this because this person will be saying something about your boss about you so that you won't be getting the pay you won't get released or right before you go you will have to do a few things for the company which is let's say for example that there will be some works or documentations that you need to recap or that you need to make up for it but the truth is you've already you know you all you're you're already done with it now Mm -hmm. hmm. Now the thing here is you will be getting at least that you're not going to have a hard time. You're going to be getting the money that you really need or that you really, you know, that you deserve. However, you will be looking back into those, you know, looking back into the pa into the past because this job is stable. Okay, to be fair, even though the people are very, you know, they're acting like the vultures and crocodiles. Um, the thing here is this job is actually very stable for you. And so you are so anxious whether this new job of yours will be working out in your favor will it be for a long term will it be saving you from you know from say from paying all of your bills and will be covering up for all of your needs and you're also feeling a little bit sad because why is it that there's no people around me that are true why is it that people around me keeps on betraying me why is it that other people keeps on letting me down now there's also another thing about you that you're feeling so lost and a little bit you know depressed about having the right kind of relationship now at this point you were once with someone that you feel like this is really the right one but unfortunately this person just stringed you along and left you right in the middle of your crisis and now right now you want to cut off this whole fantasy or this whole you know um fairy tale about being with another person because you know that at this point your priority should be your work your priority should be your finances even though that you will be leaving somebody behind walking away from someone because this person is such a liar betrayed you hurt you and you know break your trust you feel like there's no point in staying any further um the only thing is this person will try to contest your decision but for you it's like you're not really entitled you're not really in the right place and you don't have right so you will be making up you'll be making up for all of your let's say losses you know or, or those times that you did not really pay attention to yourself and now you're going to be making up for it and you will also be working hard in achieving your goals and targets staying away from people who pretends to be your you know your your friend but they're not and you will become much more stronger and smarter at this point now this air sign woman will be starting up a fight or an argument or like a you know like a like a tension um between the two of you and even though that this person used to be your mentor used to be the one who teaches you a lot uh, this person is also somebody that you need to leave behind okay you owe this person everything that you know about this job but then they also don't have the right to belittle you to put you down and to you know to crush your dreams so you will be walking away with pride and you are not going to be paying attention to this person even though that the she will try he or she will try to start a war or start a fight between the two of you just be very careful because i feel like this person will try to send some bad feedbacks to your new company and that you need to justify your side okay 
you need to you need to be prepared for this and don't uh, don't be surprised if your current company sorry if your um, other company that you're about to work for will be changing their mind you're not going to lose the job but they will be asking you for some explanations and you need to be much more honest and much more transparent about your you know your whole your whole ordeal okay let's take a look at your relationship cards Gratitude, home, well, home is where the heart is, compassion, courage, blame, love, surrender, mm. control. Now, like what I said, you're already like giving up on the thought of finding love. Because you feel like you've loved, you've cared, given everything, invested your all. But someone is not even worthy of your time. You know, that person just ended up betraying you, lying to you, deceiving you, straying you along, and, you know, that's it. Now, you also need to be more thankful and be contented with whatever you have. You already, you know, actually, you have, you have a good life. But you're, you keep on aspiring for more. You keep on dreaming for more. You keep on wanting for more. You also need to show compassion to other people. Not because that you've been hurt by other people and deceived. Doesn't mean that you should be cruel to other people that you will be meeting along the way. Have the courage to complete your task and to complete your, you know, your life path. And don't point your fingers at other people just for you to clean up your act or just for you to wash your hands. Don't surrender in love. <coughs> Sorry. Don't surrender in love. Um, I feel like you're looking for the right person at the wrong place, at the wrong time. And stop having the control issues. Okay? You can't control everything. You can't control other people. You can only control your own mind and your own actions. Okay. Anyway, that's it for you for this week, Virgo. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone and live on the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.